all right what's up guys today i'm gonna show you how to swerve any bike i got my big flyer here but uh this tutorial is just general any bike so let's get right into it Alright, so first let's look at like a couple of bike setup things, a few things that uh, you should do just before you even start trying. You've got to be able to wheelie pretty comfortably, which means wheeling with your seat all the way down. So you don't have to have it clapped all the way down, but have it down a good bit. I have it slanted forward just because it's kind of an SE bike thing or a wheelie thing. Whenever you're wheeling, it's more level. Another thing would be your back tire, your pressure specifically. Generally, the lower you go with pressure, the more traction you get, but you don't want to go too low. If you go too low, you're going to risk your tire folding wherever you go to hit the swerve. So 30, 40 PSI, it's up to you. Just go right in the middle, just kind of average. You can play with it a little more once you're a bit more experienced. So that's pretty much all for bike setup. So let's get into exactly how you're going to want to learn to swerve. All right, guys, so let's get right into this how to swerve. So first thing we're going to talk about is some of the basic things that you have to be able to do just to even start learning. Obviously you need to be able to wheelie very comfortably. Be confident in your back brake. Have your seat down. The first thing that you probably can already do but if not you need to work on is turning. Basically a swerve is just a very sharp stylish steezy turn so turning it's actually pretty simple it's the same concept as two wheels just lean turn your bars and look so just practice doing it while you wheelie turn your bars and look and you'll make a gradual turn now just practice just leaning your bike over more and you'll be able to make sharper turns all you really need to be able to do is just make a 90 degree turn comfortably and while you're doing this figure out which way you're more comfortable turning be able to wheelie comfortably, be able to go around a turn, figure out which way you're more comfortable, and then you can start getting into a swerve. The actual swerve itself is like just doing a turn. The sharper you cut the bars, the sharper you lean, the faster you turn. It's also like turning just in the case that like the slower you go, the less, the less balance there is. But at the same time, the faster you go, the sketchier it is to swerve. So find a balance right in the middle. Just find a nice open road like this. Just wheelie, and just whichever way you're more comfortable turning, just start trying to turn faster and faster. If it's this way, go back. It's up to you. Start trying to turn sharper and sharper. Chances are if, you can, if you're gonna be able to swerve, you're gonna be able to do circles. So just do a nice big open turn, and just start to cut it sharper and sharper. Lean the bike over more and more. Turn your bars more, look more, until you're doing this freaking tight little circle now you're pretty much ready to swerve so let's talk about a couple of do's and don'ts with swerves swerving obviously it gets you a ton of clout real quick but at the same time you can go wrong you can hurt yourself bad you can break your bike in half you can get in a fight you can it just makes a bad name for bike life if you do it wrong so pretty much just, just avoid suicide swerves start off with things where if you mess up, it's not a big deal. Look for cones, look for like industrial things, like you know, like, you know, like signs, I don't know, like big trucks that if you hit it, it's not gonna make a dent. We're gonna use this manhole cover as an example, even though I don't know if you guys can see that. So just start way like 10 feet from your object to one side and just real gradually go past it. So keep doing this, but of course, lean your bike more, turn more, turn your bars more and just start gradual and turn sharper as you go. So my recommendation for doing good swerves in a safe way is not to ride straight up to it and then swerve because if you aren't on your balance and you don't turn, then you're definitely gonna hit it. So what I recommend is to swerve out more or to swing out more, start gradual and then cut it sharp as you get closer. You kind of are already turning so you know that you're gonna be able to make the swerve and if for any reason you're off the balance and you don't start to turn, 
then you can just pretty much go to the other side of wherever you're swerving. So now comes in like the actual motion of a swerve. You want to start with your head and your bars. You want to lean it over and get real far over. Then as you get close to the object, cut your bars back and then strain back out. So turn your head, your bars, cut them back. So that's the basics of swerving. I'd say just start with an object that's flat like this that obviously if you mess up, you can ride right over it. And before you know it, it's gonna be some goat work. My best tip would really just be swinging out like I had said. Say this is your object that you're gonna swerve. Don't start real close and then turn real sharp. Start real far out, turn gradually, and then cut it sharp. Once you learn, start getting creative with it. Don't just swerve objects. You know, you can go up on the sidewalk, you can swerve back down. Get creative with it, but the biggest thing is just be responsible. If it's your first time trying to swerve, don't go out and head on suicide swerve a car. If this video helped you out or if you even just enjoyed watching it, make sure to leave a like, hit a comment. If you're a goat, let, let me know some other tips, let everyone else have some other tips and let me know if you have any questions if you're learning and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me some suggestions for the next video. Until then guys, I'm out.